Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my review for the pilot episode of the Constantine television series on NBC. This one is called Non-Est Asylum. All right, and as always, my reviews do contain spoilers. For this one, though, it's just a premiere, so don't worry. You know, there's no major character deaths since we're just getting to know the characters. Uh, that said, I was pretty excited to see Constantine. Been waiting for it since we saw the trailer in the summertime. Uh, pretty crazy how many DC, DC shows there are on TV now. There's four. You've got Flash, Gotham, Constantine, and Arrow. And if I'm... I don't think I'm missing any. Yeah, four at once. That's that's quite a bit when you consider uh, years ago you'd only have like one or maybe two, and Marvel's got one right now. So DC's kicking ass pretty good. Now, in terms of this premiere, I did like it quite a bit. I thought it was a lot of fun. In terms of score, I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. Uh, what Constantine is, is it's, a, it's based on the comic book series called Hellblazer, which features our main character, John Constantine, and um, he's... Pretty much an exorcist is what he is. He exercises demons uh, from people that are either possessed, so you get some possession, you get also some manifestation, you get some kind of, in this one, uh, they can you know move objects, they can kill people. Uh, the demon he faces off against in the premiere is named Fursifer, and his thing is he can control uh, electricity. So in a city, he's very dangerous. He can you know uh, turn off cars or control street lights to cause accidents or um, all kinds of different things like that. You know, bring live wires down and, and, and put them through people or electrocute people or all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Uh, we also see the scene from the trailer, if you guys saw the Constantine trailer in the summertime, uh, where he's at an insane asylum. He checks himself in thinking that he might be insane or I don't know, just because he doesn't know. He's kind of lost, a lost soul, so to speak. Um, and there's a scene with this, uh, this, this possessed girl and there's these cockroaches all over the place and she's like, writing in blood on the wall and he uh, says that he's addressing the entity inside and you know the power of Christ compels you in the whole bit and then she goes flying and uh, you know he exercises the demon power so um it's, uh, you know, it, it's fun. Exorcism isn't a new concept or anything like it, but it's one that we don't see all that often, you know, and, and some people like it, some people don't. It's one of those horror type sub genres, I guess, I guess you could call it like a zombie apocalypse uh, with exorcism and demons and all that, uh, you know, with the whole heaven hell battle type thing. And it's got a slant of the, of course, the religion involved there, of course, with, uh, you know, with the devil and with, with those two heaven and hell and, and the battle and angels and all that kind of stuff so you kind of have to be into that to like it or at least uh, enjoy watching those kinds of things uh, to enjoy uh, this type of show but it is fun and it does look really clean it looks really really good the effects are great the ghosts we see at one point we see like a, a ghost train that goes through them uh, the demons all look really really cool you get to see some cool effects with you know big uh, windows shattering or cars going through things and all kinds of pretty craziness fire and pits and, and <laughs> all kinds of stuff uh, even an angel with angel wings and the whole bit and taking form of other people where he'll even kind of possess people for a minute to send Constantine a message um, and him trying to protect our damsel in distress who's named uh, Liv in this one um, who's pretty good and I guess uh, Constantine knew her father that's the main thing so he wants to protect her because he promised her father that he would uh, and she's being chased by this demon first of her so uh, yeah it's a, it's, it's a pretty fun show um, just based on the premiere I enjoyed it quite a bit uh, it doesn't say right now I'm not sure how many episodes the first season is it's listed on the IMDb as um, having uh, eight episodes for the, the actors, at least, um, the crew. So I don't know if that means the first season is eight or if they're not fully done you know, uh, filming yet or what it's going to be. But, um, you know, I am pretty interested and I'm pretty, my interest is peaked. It is a fun series and it's done really well. Uh, the actor who plays Constantine, Matt Ryan, he does a really, really good job. He's funny at the same time. He's edgy. And I think he does the best you can probably do at exorcism scenes where he's casting a spell on a demon or he's exercising one or he's doing a ritual with some kind of, you know, pentagram on the, on the you know, um, I guess it's a floor of a, of a <laughs> or like a roof. Um, and yeah, he does the best he can. I mean, it's it's kind of a weird thing seeing a person 
talking to CG, especially if they're going to be exercising a CG demon. Uh, you know, I don't think that's the easiest thing to sell because if you think about when he's going to be acting it out, he's going to be like looking at nothing, doing this whole, you know, exorcism thing and saying these words that are not English, <laughs> you know, um, and he, he does pretty good. I mean, you know, I, I get into it. I like it quite a bit and it, it is good. And, uh, you know, I'm interested to see if he's going to be able to uh, save his soul because he previous to this has been um, basically sentenced to hell. <laughs> so uh, in effort to save himself, he's going to try to help other people, I suppose. I guess that's the storyline. That's what we're going to see. So pretty good so far. Decent characters. I like to Astra as well, too. She's this uh, girl that he was not able to save, and he regrets it every day. So he drinks a lot. He's really depressed and moody, and some demons will use her. Uh, as we can see in this one, to their advantage, knowing that uh, they have her and he feels bad about it. So, uh, yeah, in terms of score, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I think all around it's kind of a it's kind of a fun series if, if you like that type of genre. And uh, it is really scary, uh, too, because, of course, it's an exorcism-type show. Uh, so you got all that crazy demon stuff and can see dead people and the whole bit. Uh, there was also a pretty cool little nod to uh, Dr. Fate uh, in it. You can see a, Fate, a Dr. Fate helmet as uh, she picks one up, uh, Liv picks one up at this place they're staying that was her dad's place. And he tells her that you better put that down before it puts you down. That was funny. Also, he has, he just had some really good one-liners. Uh, like this one guy who, who it was taken over by an angel to communicate with John uh, afterwards, after he goes back to normal, asks John if he's okay. And, and then he replies... Uh, John replies, uh, or he says, are you all right, sir? And then John replies, no, not even slightly. It was just really funny and delivered well, and, and, and it's just a lot of fun all around. I, I really enjoyed it. So uh, in terms of a score, like I said, 8 out of 10. It's just really solid. If you like that type of genre, I say definitely check it out. It's pretty scary. It's fun. It's funny. Uh, it's all the things you'd, you'd want to see in this type of show, and I think they did a pretty good job. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. If you've read the Hellblazer comic books, let me know what you think about uh, the TV series compared to it. I personally never have, so I can't really compare. Um, but also write what you thought of the characters, what you thought of the series, and if you think it's going to be uh, one that will go on multiple seasons, or do you think it'll get canceled pretty quickly? Uh, I think it, it's got potential. I think it could go on for a while. Uh, DC is doing a great job, man. They, they're releasing a lot of awesome, awesome stuff. Gotham. Yeah, awesome, Gotham, <laughs> awesome stuff. Gotham and Flash and Arrow and now this. Can't go wrong. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor. Please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favor it. If you're new and you want to see reviews like this all the time, daily, please feel free to subscribe. Really, you just click the button. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace. Peace.